Out of all of his many names, Allah Azza wa Jal chose two names to put in the Basmala, which is the most common dhikr every Muslim does. Think about it. The most common phrase that comes from your mouth that is Islamic, before you eat, before you drink, before you wear your clothes, before you enter your house, before you do anything, you say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And this is a phrase that Allah chose to begin every surah of the Quran with, except surah At-Tawbah. So why ar-Rahman and ar-Rahim? The meaning of Rahima, the meaning of Rahima means to show mercy in order to bring benefit to. Ar Raghib al Asfahani, who's one of the uh, famous linguists of the Arabic language, he says, It's a mercy or tenderness that is intended to benefit the object of mercy. So, Rahma is not just mercy. Rahma is a mercy that is intended to benefit. A mercy that actually ends up benefiting the being that is shown mercy. So, if you have real Rahma, it will be shown in action and not just in theory. That's the meaning of Rahma. And by deriving two names from the same root, Rahima, Allah derived Ar Rahman and Allah derived Ar Rahim. By deriving two different names, from the same concept, Allah is emphasizing His merciful nature. Allah is emphasizing that He has Rahmah and He's characterized with Rahmah. The name of Allah, Ar Rahman, is a very significant name in that it has specialities that no other name has. Of these specialities, it is the only name that Allah has equated with His name Allah in multiple verses. For example, Allah says, قُلْ اِدْعُوا اللَّهَ أَوِدْعُوا الرَّحْمَانِ أَيَّمْ مَا تَدْعُوا فَلَهُ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى Allah says, call upon Allah or call upon Ar-Rahman. These are the two names mentioned. Whichever name you choose, know that to Him belong all the beautiful names. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quite literally said, call upon Allah or call upon Ar-Rahman. Whichever name you choose, know that all the rest of the names belong to Him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is as if He highlighted the name Ar-Rahman as being almost the same as, or meaning complementary to the name Allah. Also, of the specialities of the name Ar-Rahman, it is the only name of Allah that Allah revealed an entire surah to explain. Surah Ar-Rahman. Allah Azza wa Jal did not reveal a surah about Al-Malik, Al-Qudus, Al-Salam, Al-Aziz. He revealed a whole surah and every ayah of the surah is an explanation of the name Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. Why? Allama Al-Quran. He taught the Quran. Khalaq Al-Insan. He created man. Allamahu Al-Bayan. He taught man how to speak and on and on and on. Every single ayah of Surah Ar-Rahman is an explanation of why Ar-Rahman is Ar-Rahman. And there's no other name that Allah chose to reveal an entire surah behind. The name Ar-Rahman, it occurs 57 times in the Quran. And that is a huge amount. And it is the only name other than the name Allah that typically occurs by itself. What do I mean by this? All of you are aware when you read the Quran, typically names occur in two for, in the duality, i.e., uh, they occur together, I should say, in pairs. As Sami al Alim, right? Al Ghafur al Rahim, Al Tawab al Rahim, Al Aziz al Hakim. They typically occur together with two. But the name Allah itself rarely occurs with any other name. And also the name Ar Rahman rarely occurs with any other name. It is a name that has been given, highlighted, as if it is also one of the most unique names. And therefore, the scholars say that after the name Allah, the most significant and the most important name of Allah is the name Ar Rahman. And the name Ar Rahim, it occurs 114 times in the Quran, and typically it does occur with other pairs. For example, Ghafur Ar Rahim, Aziz Ar Rahim, Tawab Ar Rahim. So typically the name occurs with other pairs. For example, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim that occurs in a pair. Now the question that is on everybody's mind, what is the difference between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim? We understand they are both from the same verb, Rahima. We understand that they both indicate that Allah has a mercy that means He will show that mercy to us. The mercy will be demonstrated. But what is the difference between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim? 
Some scholars have given, uh, there's many opinions and all of them are valid. These opinions are not contradictory, they are complementary. Of the differences that are mentioned, some scholars say that Ar-Rahman is the one who shows his mercy to the entire creation for all of times. Ar-Rahman shows mercy to the one who believes and the one who doesn't believe. Ar-Rahman shows mercy to the Muslim, to the Kafir. Ar-Rahman shows mercy in this world and in the next. And Ar-Rahim is the one who shows an extra special mercy to those who believe in him. So Allah says in the Quran, Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa. The Rahman has risen over the throne. In other words, the Rahman is the one that is in charge of the whole creation as well. And yet Allah says, وَكَانَ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَحِيمًا Allah is Rahim with the believers. Allah is Rahim with the believers. So it is as if the name Rahim is an extra Rahmah that is shown to the believers. That is one opinion. Another opinion is that Rahman is a noun that indicates Allah is merciful by nature. And Rahim is a noun that indicates Allah is merciful in his actions. And this is a valid point linguistically. Ar-Rahman means by his nature Allah is always merciful. In other words, Ar-Rahman is characterized with Rahmah. And Ar-Rahim, the one who shows mercy through his actions. So Ar-Rahman, the one whose nature is merciful. Ar-Rahim, the one whose actions are merciful. It is also said, uh, for one of the students of the Sahaba, his name is Abu Al-Aliya. Abu Al-Aliya said, Ar-Rahman is the one who gives when you ask him. And Ar-Rahim is the one who is angry when you do not ask him. I repeat, Ar-Rahman is the one who gives when you ask. Muslim, Kafir, it doesn't matter, Ar-Rahman will give. Because Allah is Ar-Rahman, even the Kafir has Rahmah in this world. Even the Kafir has some Rahmah. After all, Allah created him, Allah gives him sustenance, Allah gives him rizq. So Ar-Rahman, when you ask, he will give. Ar-Rahim, if you don't ask, he will be irritated. Why didn't you ask? This is the Rahim. So that is that extra mercy that comes with the name uh, Ar-Rahim. And so by using these two names, Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, Allah is indicating how important Rahmah is for him. And in fact, the Quran and the Sunnah clearly mentions this. Allah says in the Quran, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ My Rahmah surrounds everything. Without Allah's rahmah, we could not be here. وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ And our Prophet wasallam said that when Allah created the creation, He wrote a book for Himself, a rule book for Himself, that He keeps over the throne. And in that book is, إِنَّ رَحْمَتِي تَغْلِبُ غَضَبِي My rahmah will always extinguish my wrath. My Rahmah will always extinguish my anger. My Rahmah will always overcome my anger. So Allah has a rule. Even Allah has rules. Allah places these rules on Himself. We do not place these rules on Allah. Allah has rules. Allah has made these rules for Himself. No one has the right to place rules on Allah other than Allah. So what are those rules? We only know some of them. What is rule number one? Rule number one for Allah. My Rahmah shall always overcome my anger. This is in Allah's book for himself. And so Allah wants to emphasize who he is. He is Rahman and he is Rahim. And our Prophet Sallallahu said that if even the Kafir knew how much Rahmah Allah had, then the Kafir would be optimistic about entering Jannah. Hadith is in Bukhari. If the non-Muslim really understood how much Rahmah Allah has, then he would also be optimistic even on the Day of Judgment, Allah will forgive me. That's how much Rahmah Allah has. And our Prophet ﷺ said in the famous hadith that verily Allah has more Rahmah upon his servants than a mother does upon her child. This is the famous hadith we are all familiar with. And in our world, in this world that we inhabit, there is no Rahmah that is more powerful than the Rahmah of a mother for her child. This is the highest example for our imagination. And what did our Prophet ﷺ say? Verily, I swear, 
Allah's rahmah for his servants is more than the rahmah of a mother for her child. And therefore some of the righteous would make dua to Allah and they would say, Oh Allah, your Prophet has told us that your mercy is more than the mercy of my own mother for me. And I know that my mother would not want to see me in pain and suffering. So oh Allah, you as well, you are going to remove this pain and suffering from me. So they use this hadith and they make it into a dua and there is no problem with that. And Allah Azza wa Jal mentions his rahmah in the Quran in so many verses. وَمِن rahmatihi is a common phrase. Of his rahmah, Allah says. وَمِن رَحْمَتِهِ He created the night and the day. وَمِن رَحْمَتِهِ He sends the winds upon you. وَمِن رَحْمَتِهِ Is the alternation of the night and day. وَمِن رَحْمَتِهِ He said is the, the oceans and you ride them. وَمِن رَحْمَتِهِ He says is the differences in your languages and ethnicities and skin colors. Of his mercy, he says, is that he has created you in pairs, male and female, and that you live in harmony with one another uh, as married couples. Of his mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says, he sends the rain, he brings forth the vegetation. If you read the Quran so many times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, of his mercy, because of his mercy, your creation is but an attribute of his mercy or a manifestation of his mercy. Because he is Rahman, he created us and he gave us all that we have. And so how do we obtain Allah's Rahmah? We want Allah's Rahmah. How do we obtain it? Simple. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said hadith is hadith Qudsi, the famous hadith. Ar-Rahimuna yarhamuhum ar-Rahman irhamu man fil ardi yarhamukum man fil sama. Beautiful hadith, memorize it. Those who are merciful will be shown mercy from the one who is full of mercy. Ar-Rahimun yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. Those who are merciful to others will be shown mercy by the one who is Ar-Rahman. Irhamu man fil ard, yarhamukum man fil sama. Have mercy on those in this world and the one in the heavens will have mercy on you. And we conclude by mentioning that this is of the most beloved attributes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and therefore he has given it to those whom he has loved and especially he has given it to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because Allah is Ar-Rahman, he has sent Nabiyyu Ar-Rahmah. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا Rahmatan lil alameen. Because Allah is a Rahman, He has chosen for us the best human being and sent for us the best message. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, "Ana Nabiyu Rahma." I am the Nabi of Rahma. He described himself as being Nabiyu Rahma. And Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the book as well, the Quran, as being a book of Rahmah. That Allah says that this book is a book of Rahmat and Washifa. It is a book of Rahmah. So we have a religion of Rahmah and a Nabi of Rahmah and a book of Rahmah. And of course, this would be our religion because Ar Rahman is the one who revealed the book and sent the messenger and gave us this beautiful religion.